Welcome to Sag Capricorn people. Thank you for joining me on my channel, AngelWorks0110, and this message is for you. I do message what I see, hear, and feel, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm just a nobody trying to tell you guys something. So, if this resonates, please leave a comment below, let me know, and I'm going to be pulling your stalking message. I'm sorry that I got these messages out late, but I had some stuff that went on this year, so I had to do stuff with family, but I'm back, guys. Here is your message. Before I open this, I want to say that I am picking up very strongly that some of you are feeling like you're on the fence, because I'm feeling like I'm on the fence right now with you guys for some reason, like I'm back and forth. I, I want to say that with on her side, I'm feeling like this person, if it's a, a woman you're dealing with, a female, they're in their head about, like, thinking about heartaches, past hurts, confusion, wanting wishes to come true, waiting on their ships to come in, basically, you know, daydreaming about their one. But for the male side, they're feeling, like, conflict in their head about, are you their one? And... They're trying to figure out if you're the one because they're feeling stuck in their head about it. They're not unsure. They're not sure. They're they're wanting a happy home. And with you standing your ground, it's going to cause them to see that maybe you are their one. You have to stand your ground. And if those people that you thought you were in love with, if they were your one, if they're really your one, they will still be there. If you tell them that you don't want to be in a third party situation or whatever this conflict is that you have with this person that is causing conflict, that gives you the doubt, is this your one? If you're having that doubt feeling, you need to have communication with that person. Okay, guys? Let's see what you guys got. Whoa, we got two of them from this one. I did not realize that I put two in here. But guess what? You guys got two. You got the... Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Somebody feeling disappointed about a Knight of Pentacles. Somebody feeling very disappointed or they are the Knight of Pentacles and they're being very disappointed about a situation. This could be a person dealing with two kind of people like that. An emotional one and a person that's about their finances. There could be a message that's coming in. Like, you're getting subpoenaed. You're having to be a witness. You're having to speak something and you feel ashamed or remorse about something. And you're having to get the courage up to speak to someone that is waiting on you. This There's a person, either you or this other person, somebody's waiting on somebody. You're at a distance. You're disappointed at how things got to this point. You've had time to reflect on yourself because you're away from this partner. You've been isolated and alone, and it's causing you to get worried and feel upset or sick or feel like you can't sleep at night. You have headaches. You're starting to feel anxiety and stuff. But... You're, if you're feeling scared, could this be your one? Trust me, we all get there. We all get scared, and we find out by standing our ground and say, look, I'm looking for the person that's meant to be with me. If you're going to treat me like this, then you're not my one. You know, I'm looking for the one that is not going to hurt me. When you stand your ground and you tell the truth like that, and you let them know that this is not what you're going to have, if they are really your one, they will come back. You will ask for forgiveness. They will ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness will be happening. People will be in a different state in a relationship. I'm also feeling like with two, it's like you see the image is him and her. It's a very powerful couple. If they come into union, they will be very powerful. They could have earth qualities in their chart or air qualities in their chart. This, this could be the same person. This could be a person that is on the cusp of the 
earth, air, element, cuss people, or earth, fire, or earth, water. I feel on the, his side very strongly that he's came to an end of a cycle of some deceit, lies, and betrayals that was told to him or that he had done that got exposed. These lies, deceits, the trickery, maybe the player's behavior came to an end. There's communication about it. Somebody communicated this to them or they are communicating this to somebody else or it's like hearsay and it came back around to this person and they heard something about some kind of lies and cheats and it ends something. But with this truth being known and being brought up in the open with communication about lying and cheating, wanting that to come to an end or this person saying this to you, both of you, I feel, will be victorious. I feel as if both of you will be because... You both are standing your ground and you're both are saying what it is that you don't want so that you don't feel stuck in a relationship. You don't want to feel like you're trapped and you're having to do whatever somebody tells you to do constantly and not letting you have your own free will. You want to be able to trust that other person and believe in them and have faith and joy and be harmonious and feel love and warmth for the person. You don't want to feel conflict all the time. You don't want to feel let down and just cut down and feeling negative. You want to get out of being negative. And you will be when you start saying your ground. Because that shows the positive side in you that you're loving yourself. And you are going to be victorious because you're not going to let nobody rain on your parade. But you're not going to be a person that just takes and takes and takes. You're going to be a person that gives all that you can give. If you had good intentions with someone and you went out and got them a gift and then before the very five minutes before you got to give them the gift, something happens and this person turns on you. And I feel like if they turn on you, then all of a sudden you feel guarded and you feel like, well, forget that. I'm not going to give them a gift. They just turned on me. So I'm going to turn back on them. No, don't do that. Don't be that way. Don't be negative. Get out of that negative mindset. If you already had good intentions with someone and you had good intent to give them a gift before they got ill with you, you still give it to them and, and say, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. I don't know what's going on, but I got you something. Here you go. I hope you like it. You know, and then just walk away and just leave it there. What they do with it is on them. You have good intentions. You are a good person. You can be positive. You can get out of this negative mindset. And you can let people know how you truly feel. But not in a sarcastic way. You can be kind and loving and loyal. And speak your truth and calmly. And enjoy your environment. Enjoy the people you have around you. Try to get away from the conflict and negativity talk. And you'll feel real warm and happy and joyous. And it's a very good warm feeling. I feel a little fuzzy, like happy and joyous. And you will be able to take charge. You just want to make sure that you go in there in a stable pace. You don't go in there just start hashing out words. Don't start believing everything you hear. You want to have a happy foundation, a happy home with someone. You want to celebrate. You want to believe that this is your one. So believe it. You don't need to be watching these videos to believe it. You know because you are being truthful with yourself. As, as soon as you're being truthful with yourself, that's when you realize that you are standing for what you believe in and you're finding your one and that person is going to say you are my one. And when they say that, then you know for sure that they are. Not only by what they say, but their actions will back it up. If they're out cheating on you and stuff still, then they must not be your one. I'm sorry. But you need to love yourself and let go of these kind of people that are holding you down. That's making you feel like you don't deserve better. You do. You are lovable just like I am. And we deserve to be happy. So 
you decide on what kind of love you want for your life and how you want them to treat you and you stand up for yourself guys hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos and the next deck that i'm going to be using for that next series playlist will be this deck so i hope you guys get to watch me on that series once i get done with this series i'll be letting you know closer to that time in the mid-month of january always remember guys Treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.